The second I woke up, like, do I really have to go to the gym today? Yes, bitch, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you want do. Until then, I'm gonna relax because I have a class at um, 9.20 and that's a couple hours from now. So I'm gonna just chillax and then head out later. Three hours later. Good morning, everyone. It's cold in this car. Today is Wednesday, right? Now this week is going by fast. Hold up, is it Wednesday? It, no, it's Tuesday. I want to say that this week is going. I did say that. It's Tuesday, and I have a class in about like ish minutes. Gotta put that gum in my mouth. Got my water. Got my drink, and we're about to be out. I be on TikTok and on Instagram a lot. I love to look at like motivating things, right? Obviously to motivate me throughout the day or to motivate me the next day. And something that I saw a few days ago was someone speaking about discipline and how when you're trying to get healthy and you're on your fitness or weight loss journey and you want to achieve certain goals for yourself and for your body your daily routine is gonna get boring like it's gonna get boring the whole getting up you know being active your body getting sore and repeat like it's gonna get boring and that's why a lot of people quit and to be completely honest like me like the times that I've been on my um, journey, I one get bored with like doing the same shit over and over at home, you know. Like I, I y'all know, I, I I be working out at home, um, and now I'm at the gym. But it's usually it was usually at home. But before it was at home, I would get bored with like, what am I gonna put on? What am I gonna watch? Why? Like I don't want to watch the same thing over and over. And then I wouldn't see like the scale moving the way that I wanted it to, if at all. So I would I would just be like, what the hell is the point of this, you know? You know, I started working out at home in the beginning of this journey that I'm on now. And then I've been going to the gym for the past like almost two weeks. And I, I definitely do feel better going to the gym where there's classes and also there's different machines that you can go to whatever and at the end of the day you could get bored with that too like i i've been to the gym and i got bored and i'm still paying for that shit actually a different gym i gotta i gotta go over there and tell them that i don't <laughs> want um that membership anymore but yeah like you could get bored with the gym as well it's such a mental thing and i'm still working on it every single day and I'm glad that I'm getting stronger because I could just tell because the day when I woke up I felt like do I really gotta go because I'm, I'm probably gonna go to the gym later on today I was supposed to do two a day yesterday um, because my brother-in-law was gonna come with me later on like in the evening but my sister wasn't feeling good and then her son also wasn't feeling good so he didn't end up going to the gym but today he might so today I might do two a day so when I woke up, I was like, do I really have to go to this class? Like, I don't really need to go to this class. Like, why? Because I was tired. I took a little nap, and I wanted to continue. Honestly, I was like, do I really need to go? Again, I had the thought, should I go? And then I got my ass up after like two minutes. I was like, nah, bitch, you going. <laughs> you going to this thing. It's going to burn for a little bit, but you're going to do it. 
and I'm glad that I am pushing my own self like I am obviously it's great to have a gym buddy and all of that stuff but I'm pushing myself because I'm gonna be in my body for the rest of my life and I gotta be strong enough to drive myself to the gym and to do this motherfucking workout so I'm just proud of every little every little tiny step every little change in my body mentally and physically um and just yeah you just gotta fucking push man especially because you're not gonna get results if you don't fucking do it that's literally like i always used to hear that in workouts and i'd be like okay it's easy for you to say sir ma'am you're ripped okay you got a six pack you could wear whatever you want to wear and not feel uncomfortable okay but it's it's really dead ass true. Like if you if I decide to like you know what I don't fucking want to go to the gym. I don't want to work out at all. Let me go home and let me go to sleep. Guess what? Really not gonna achieve my goals. I'm really not gonna look the way that I want. I'm really gonna feel horrible because anytime that I don't work out, I feel horrible. I get anxiety. I start talking to myself negatively. I get depressed. I get stressed out. You know? So, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to have that little talk for myself and for anybody watching that needs a little push. This is your motherfucking son. Let's get it. Now I need to look for parking. Ooh, and there's a parking right here. A man's getting out right now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir or ma'am. Really, you have space. You totally have space. Like, come on. This class that I'm taking is called Body Pump, and I actually took this for the first time uh, last week. It was my first workout class, so I already kind of know how it's gonna be. We're gonna be using barbells. Barbells? That's what it's called, right? Barbells, dumbbells, do lunges. I fucking hate lunges. Lunges are the worst. Okay, bye. I have a wedding. <laughs> I have a wedding. Oh, God. But I'm here. A little light bar for the warm up and then some additional weight to our island through the class. Okay. People in therapy are often there. With people in their lives who won't go to therapy. I have a job, it's actually quite fulfilling. Though my headline is thinning, I barely do anything else. I read several books, I do meditation, walks in the woods, a new destination.
so it's been probably like 30 minutes since i finished working out i drove home and i was also in the sauna so that's why i'm a little bit red but um yeah that that um <laughs> can't even talk that workout class is no joke but the good thing is that you get to choose what kind of weights you use. They have two pound weights. They have five pound weights. Um, even, you know, eight, ten, whatever it is that you want to use. But because of the fact that you're constantly working out throughout the whole hour, like you probably take maybe 30 seconds of rest in between each song. That's like six minutes. So because of that, obviously, it's important to grab something lighter um yeah because it's it's difficult but i'm tired though but it's a good class and i highly recommend it y'all when i tell y'all i am exhausted like i can literally that workout took all of me i can literally just like lay down for the next like few hours i got home from the gym showered and literally just lay down sitting there um, looking at more workouts that I can do at the gym that's not like a class even though doing the class yeah so it's difficult <laughs> but I want to also get comfortable with you know the machines and stuff and like get comfortable to the point where I can go by myself and do the workouts you know because I don't think I've actually been on the main like in the main area doing the workouts by myself yet like i've done it before in the like in the past and stuff but this time around i haven't really done so so yeah i was just watching videos motivating myself by the way my um three-day trial is going well i honestly would love to do herbalife again like i love the shakes it tastes really good i love the teas I, I love it but it just costs like a lot and back in the day when i was a coach i used to get um i used to get like a discount and it was half off so you know obviously that helps but i ain't a coach right now i'm not getting shit half off and that is expensive so yeah comment down below and let me know what if you guys like drink protein shakes let me know which one is your favorite like i like for the consistency to have like that like shake consistency i don't really like it to be watery which is like what i'm doing right now i'm drinking it kind of watery because i don't have a blender this be went up the wrong way in the car line did a u-turn and gets in front of me things could be worse things could be worse Exactly, because she's not supposed to be on the line. That's why she's not on the list. Because nobody took her number down. Hey, girlie. Bye bye. Hi, Mamash. Another old teacher. How was school, Mamash? Huh? Uh, can we get. Girl, you swear I'm rich or something. Yeah, you do. I gotta go pick up Papa's pastillas. Did you want McDonald's? Because Papa said he was gonna buy some. No. You don't want McDonald's? So if everybody has McDonald's, I don't want to see that you saying that you want. Do you want McDonald's? Yes or no? No. Okay. What did you do in school? Okay, don't talk to me. I'm not gonna talk to you either. Guess where the f I'm going. At this point, I'm like running on. I don't know what. I don't know what. I'm exhausted, but like also, I just have. It's so weird. Like, I'm tired, right? And I can literally lay down. I don't know if I would be able to go to sleep though. As I'm yawning. <sighs> But then I also have energy. Like, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Like, this motherfucking workout, y'all. Today is my first two a day. All right. <sighs> Off to do this 
I think we're doing arms. I'm just gonna copy whatever it is that Simon does. We out here. I'm gonna get a free month at the gym, which is awesome. What is it that I'm doing? Why am I about to go do another workout? I just wanna go to sleep. That's my little freestyle for y'all. And I'm out. You better, you better not. You better stay there. You mad extra though. This car is mad extra. Like, I wasn't even that close to the motherfucking car. Anyways. Do it, friend. I know you came out face cross. If y'all have not heard Glorilla's new album, go check it out. She has some good freaking songs in there, including this one. She even has a gospel one. Like, if you guys like hip hop and stuff like that, I highly recommend this album. Like, I saw her um, interview on YouTube with Speedy. Um, I've seen him a couple times, like on Instagram. And come on, what, like, what are we doing here, sir? Okay, somebody was crossing the street. Anyways, I saw an interview with her with some guy named Speedy, who's a social media influencer and it was really good and she's so cute like i just love her vibes i love her energy um and so she was talking about her album and the album is actually really good because she was talking about how people were saying that she was going to be like a one-hit wonder and she has if not all of the songs on that album like they're all pretty good even the gospel one now i don't want to say like even the gospel one like that but i don't know when i saw kirk Fla franklin i was like mm, where is this about to go with glorilla like where how is this about to be but it was pretty good so yeah i've been like literally listening to this album the past couple days my favorite one i like stop playing and i also like the one with lotto i forgot what it's called but it's good i love lotto and it's like very like women empowerment like men ain't shit do you love yourself don't settle type shit that's like the vibe of the album just fyi glorilla and lotto ring featuring kehlani by cardi b now playing on apple music why oh this is a song right here yeah bitches the type of bitch that make a nigga wanna jump the part my wound. No nope. nigga trying to keep me pregnant. I need to tie my toe. Yup. Only time a dude got power over me is when he's paying the light bill though. Whoa. I just got to the gym. <laughs> Ooh. After 